Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 to 13 here is discussing about the parable of the ten virgins in this context there are a lot of uh, arguments is happening in the Christendom regarding to the uh, tribulations and the Holy Baptism in the Holy Spirit and the born again experience and the raptures all these things but I just push everything set apart and to move on the simple meaning what it is written and what we can uh, gain from this context so the kingdom of heaven is not the church it's like ten virgin it's like ten virgin it's not um, uh, maybe if we are part of the organization that doesn't mean that we are part of the kingdom of heaven because only few people many are called but few are selected so we just have to be always careful at that remnant category in the church and illustrating the watchful on the in the view of his coming so we have to be this um, this give the primary um, outcome or the key message of this context is that to be how to be more watchful and to be always be ready for Jesus second coming and um, it's talking about the ten ladies uh, where like uh, at that time the kingdom of heaven will be like a ten virgin who took their lambs and went out to the meet the bridegroom five of them were foolish and five were wise the foolish one took their lambs but did not take any oil then finally um, they were crying out that uh, we don't have any oil can you please bring me in but then finally they just cast out uh, because they don't have the oil that's the context is explaining but the ten young ladies is not a Christian who we were friends of certain girl that got married over 1900 years ago and uh, here's like I saying the two clear difference in verse 2 about the foolish and wise the foolish is because they did not take extra oil in separate vessels to replenish their supply in their lambs should the oil be used up uh, to replenish uh, their lamp but they don't have that wise because they took extra oil in separate vessels beside that they had in their lamps during the hours um, uh, before midnight they all become sleepy and slept because Jewish wedding we know were generally celebrated at night starting at the rise of the evening star but in the case there was some extra delay at the bridegroom and his friends arrived at midnight this was customary starting from the home of the bridegroom his friends began crying these are all along the route people would take up uh, the joyful cries until it would get near enough to the home of the bride that it would take up the sleeping notes uh, sleeping ones like uh, that's happening this was the duty of one who chosen by the bride to welcome uh, bridegroom then we can see that lamp of oil uh, uh, is um, given us some of your oil because it's uh, maybe uh, many people are explaining this as the lamp of oil is the holy spirit but one thing is contradictory that lamp of oil is not the holy spirit maybe for he he the Holy Spirit cannot be bought and sold or divided between the people at their request this no more referred to the Holy Spirit than oil in uh, different uh, verses where you see the Luke 7 verses 46 and um, 16 verses 60 we can see the lamp lamp of uh, oil is referred to the Holy Spirit but it's really hard to say in this context and the bridegroom that got married to certainly a young lady you know Jesus Christ coming for his saints the marriage of the young couple of this story you not know, the marriage supper of the lamb those were always locked to uninvited guest and for fear of thieves who would rob the guest or carry out the bride for a ransom this was true for they were friends of the bride not necessarily the bridegroom who is called lord in uh, verse 11 say lord lord they said open the door for us it's not like the same this is the point illustrated by the story of the oriental wedding you people on earth in the kingdom of heaven takes a G just lesson from these virgin and be always watchful in view of my coming the detail must be interpreted here any more than if they were used in the illustration outside the bible they were necessary in order to make the story to illustrate the watchfulness 
but to teach various doctrine for them in unscriptures no less than the dozens of false doctrine we can see but more than that one the ultimate aim of uh, holy spirit insist in or god uh, or um, jesus want to emphasize here that one be more watchful and also humble ourselves be ready all the time so not to deserve put the desire on the money or uh, uneven illegal relationship or cast out all these things away and to more pure holy life with uh, follow him in a holy life and also more watchful powerfully follow jesus christ for his second coming may god bless you with his words amen